Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 298. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 296 to 301. Hey, in Trick 298, we're going to see how to do a formula in a single cell to add up all of the time worked. Now, in Magic Trick 286, we saw this cool formula here. Mod, so we have time in, time out. And to deal with the fact that sometimes people work a night shift, regular time formulas don't work. But if you put the regular time formula, later time minus earlier time, inside of mod uh, with a divisor 1 and then multiply by 24, it gives us always the correct number of hours worked. Now, if we have a whole column of values like this, uh, we can easily add them up using the keyboard shortcut Alt equals. And uh, it looks like it got the right values there, and I hit Enter. But sometimes you don't want to waste all this real estate here. So we'll see an alternative. Notice that uh, this is uh, that cell minus that cell. When we get down here, that one is the blue one minus the green one right there. So really, if there was some way to take this whole column and subtract this whole column, well, there is. It's called an array formula, and that's how you can get away with this without having this whole column here. So we'll do our same mod. The only problem is um, we need to add them up. So we're going to use some product. We can't just use uh, mod this column minus that. You actually have to be able to, well, I'm not typing very well. You have to be able to then add them all up. So some product, and then we just do our mod. And we take this whole column zoop, minus this whole column right here comma 1, close parentheses, and then multiply that by 24. And if you want to see, uh, we did in excruciating detail how this works in this uh, trick right here. But there it is, uh, close parentheses, and then enter, and that's it. That's how you do it. Another way to do it is uh, with an array, a sum, which, and then you'd have to do control shift enter. But with some product, you don't have to do that control shift enter because it handles arrays. All right, in one formula, that's how to add up all the time work. All right, see you next trick.